So this is a typical example of a bar bedi schedule table. The bar bedi schedule is usually in front in A4 sheets. So you can see that the width paper, the width of the paper is 210 millimeters, while the height length of the paper is 297 millimeters, which is the size of an A4. So a typical BBS table should include uh, the company's name, the site reference, which include the job number and the address. Then the bar bending schedule, the bar schedule reference, the date it was prepared, the date you make the revisions, and then who prepared the schedule, and then who checked the schedule. So what is important is what we have under this, the columns that we have. The first column is the members. Uh, this this column can be ignored in some other situations. Then the second column is the bar mark. Then we have the type and size of rebars. So and then we also have the number of members. If you have, let's say we have column one now, how many number of this same column you have in your drawings or in your details? So that's what we mean by number of members. The number of bars in each. So let's say we, we are treating a particular reinforcement. You are going to look at an example, but let me just explain the breakdown of this table. So number of bar in each means, let's say you have the different kind of reinforcement in a single member. So if you pick one single reinforcement, how many of that reinforcement do you have in that single member? So that was the mean by, uh, total number of bars in each. And then the total number here is the multiplication of number of members times number of bars in each. Then the next column is the length of each bar. This length of each bar should be calculated based on the shape code of the reinforcement. The shape code of the reinforcement is defined as a two digit number that defines the shape of the reinforcement. And these shape code are usually labeled, different side of the shape are labeled in A, B, C, D, and then we also have E or R. So different shape codes have different shape. And then with that shape, you can represent A, B, C, D there. So this is typical how your bar bending schedule table is supposed to look like.